Have you ever seen anything like this before? It just looks like a trail. Yeah, but look where it ends. The trail ends right here. What do you think that is? Looks like something might have been sleeping here over the winter, like a den or something. Almost looks like a den, eh? Mm -hmm. But if you look closely, look, it doesn't go very far. So it's not really a den, but it's a big, yeah, and over there too. But look how fresh this trail is. It's almost a, like within the last few days it was used. Mm -hmm. You know what this is? Beavers have been here. They've taken out the sand and the gravel, sometimes even some rocks, and then they bring this with their front paws against their chest to the dam over there. Do they swim with it? Yeah, they swim with it. Really? So did you ever grow up thinking that beavers put the mud on their tail? Right? <laughs> yeah. I used to think that. <laughs> so they're taking the soil, remember, in their paws against their chest, mm -hmm. all the way back to the dam to do repairs or even build it up higher. Okay. And the dam is right there. Just across the back of the pond? Yeah, you see it there, that line that breaks the water? Okay. That is one of the longest beaver dams I've ever seen, Leah. It's huge. That's about 300 meters long. Wow. So let's go over and have a close look. Sounds good. So this is all the mud from over there, or is this some from the ground as well? Yeah, I think some of it looks very murky and very muddy. Some of it is pushed up from the bottom, but all of that at one point came from where we were just were. Look at this, we're at the beaver dam. Look at what's on the other side. Flowers. Yeah. Tons of them. Hundreds of them. And they're just emerging because it's still early spring. Do you know what they are? I, some kind of lily or a, a swamp flower? <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely a swamp flower. They're actually called a, a marsh marigold. Oh. Okay. And their roots are always in really wet soil. You can see the water all around them. Are those birdhouses? Can you guys see that? Yeah. Now you see, you see where they are? They're large, first of all, and they're yeah. right in the middle of the wetland. So what do you think, what kind of bird would a... Hmm. I'm not sure, in a wetland. Yeah. There's, there's actually um, about two ducks really? that nest in tree cavities. So if this was well-established forest, what you would find is old pileated woodpecker holes uh -huh. and wood ducks or golden eyes love to make their nest in these large tree holes that the pileated have dug out that are not oh. using any longer. So these birdhouses imitate a tree cavity. Really? I yeah. never, a duck would have been the last I know. guess on my list. A bit unusual, eh? Yeah. 